Okay, good morning. I'm uh, Danny Martin. I work in, in Sony CSL and I will talk about a JavaScript library for collaborative composition of leeches. Mm -hmm. This is done in the, con in the context of the project of Trace and also there's a related project called uh, Flow Machines. So first of all, uh, what is a leechit? Uh, leechit, you can see an example here. This is, it's a type of score which is uh, very simple and it consists of a melody which is most of the times monophonic and a chord grid, so we can see this. And uh, it's very used in the books of jazz, bossa nova and pop. It's the, the most sim uh, mo one of the most simplest way to represent a, a popular song. So as I said, there are two projects involved. The first project is the praise which is a social network for music education. And uh, for that, we wanted a tool for collaborative composition. So the, the phrase is a social network where, where the users learn to perform and compose together by uh, collaborating, giving feedback to each other. So we wanted uh, them to compose collaboratively. And then there's another project called Flow Machines, which is about many things, but one of, one of the things, uh, <coughs> it's uh, automatic music generation in the style of arbitrary composers. So the computer generates songs uh, based on statistical models. And we needed a database of lead sheets of known uh, composers to, to have a database for to generate the uh, models. So for these two goals, we realized we needed a lead sheet editor. So, we could have a tool for editing and sharing lead sheets. So this was for praise. And also we could create and, and save uh, known songs like jazz standards or songs of, of, uh, of bands that we could save on our, in our database. So the conditions for this lead sheet editor should have machine readable lead sheets, of course, of course to, to generate the statistical models and all these things. Because they, we could find uh, PDFs in the internet, but they are not machine readable, they are just an image. Also, we, we decided it should be web-based because the web is the best environment for collaborative applications. And also, it should be easily accessible for the users we wanted to feed the database. So we wanted some, some users to enter the, the songs in our database. So, uh, like, they should, it should be accessible for, for them. So this is better in the web, so you don't have to install a, a desktop application and this kind of thing. And we also wanted it to be embeddable because these two projects have different platforms and we want this editor to be reused in, in both platforms. Okay. So first of all, we, we said we wanted uh, read, uh, machine readable lead sheets. So the first thing we had to do, we had to define a format for the lead sheets. So we can see the lead sheet, and we define a structure for it. We can see there's a composer, a title. Uh, then we can see there are two sections. The first section has two endings, and then there's another section. And then each section has also bars, and each bar has chords and notes. So it's clearly a tree structure. And, uh, the JSON format is great for the tree structures, and also it's very, it's becoming very popular. So, in the end, we have the format, uh, the JSON representation of of, of a lead sheet. And this is how we coded the lead sheets. So we also said it should be web based. You know, the web applications normally have the client part, which is the part that happens in the browser and Firefox, Chrome. And then the server part, which is the part that uh, works only if you have connection in the internet. So in our case, uh, the editor is all in JavaScript because uh, everything uh, like editing and, and rendering the score or playing, this happens in the browser. And we needed the server part for the persistence, for saving the lead sheets in a database and for loading it. So, uh, of course, JavaScript is, is the technology for browsers, the most used. And for the server, we decided to use MongoDB as database because MongoDB is a, 
is a non-relational database. It's just collection of documents, and it was great for what we wanted. We wanted just documents, which are the lead sheets, which are in, in JSON format, and it's the format in which MongoDB works. So this is the technology we used. And for the JavaScript part, uh, it's, we, are, uh, we have three parts, the interactor, the viewer, and the player. So the interactor is what allows the, uh, the lead sheet to be editable. For that, we used uh, jQuery, which is the most popular library for, uh, in, in the web. jQuery does many things, but we're, what we were interested in is the uh, event uh, manager. So it, it listens to the event of the user. If the user clicks somewhere or the user does an action, you, you, you can manage it with jQuery. So we use that for the interaction part. For the rendering part, we use Vexflow which is a score rendering uh, library that works in, in HTML5 Canvas. It's uh, the new standard for the web, so you can, run, you can visualize score without scores without uh, having to install a plugin or without using Flash. And uh, finally, we used uh, MIDI.js, which is a library for playing MIDI in, in the web browser. We also said we want it to be embeddable, so this is an example of how it works. We have two platforms, the, flat, the platform of the project Flow Machines, which is the LSDB platform, and then the platform of the Praise project, which is the Music, music Circle platform. So uh, it's embedded, the Lichit component, so they can uh, use its uh, JS file, a JavaScript file, that they can use in their, in their own platform, and with this, uh, file they can visualize and edit uh, scores but of course they need the, the the score itself which is the JSON lead sheet we also so we provide an API in PHP that they can access in the server part so they take the, the lead sheet from our database and then they use the component to visualize it and to edit it and this is how, how it looks, uh, the integration. So you, we can see it's the Music Circle uh, platform. And they took the lead sheet from our database and they show it in the browser with our component. OK, and finally, well, this is how it, our editor looks like for the, uh, the example we saw in the, in the beginning, uh, alone together. And so. Thanks to the lead sheet editor, we could achieve the two goals we were talking about. The first one is we have uh, the lead sheet database for the Flow Machine project. We have asked some users, some musicians, to enter the, the content. So we can see an example of Jeff here that was entering the, a song. So we have now 7,000 lead sheets and 15 real books. So this is the data for the Flow Machines project, and we are, we are, we have some outputs for this. Like we are, we are starting to make a, a radio, which generates uh, songs in the style of Miles Davis or uh, Charlie Parker, or, or many different composers. And also for the play, the Praise project. Uh, we made the part of collaborative composition. So, uh, from a lead sheet of a composer, we want other composers to be able to make some suggestions or to make some comments or on specific parts of the score. So, you can see we can make comments on a group of notes or a group of chords. And uh, the type of feedbacks that we can give are uh, three types, score, which would be uh, just suggestions of modifications of a score, text comments, and, and audio. We can upload audio files related to a, to a part of the score. I, I will show this now. So this is uh, an example, but okay, I will show it in the web. This was just in case the connection was failing, or, so I can show it. Here. Okay, I have a friend in Barcelona, and he wrote this song. 
and he he plays with the guitar and he sings. So it's just chords and melody for his okay for him is okay. And he he wrote this. He put it in our in in our database. So I. Where is my? Yeah. I play a a, a a small part. Okay, well, uh, so I I just made some suggestions. So first, in this part, I I just add a small change, and I can I okay. I don't know where it goes. Well. Sorry. I lost my I lost the mouse. Here. Okay, so this is the modification I made. Uh, I also made another modification here to just to link a little bit to the part B and for example I also make here these chords I, I gave an alternative I made some more uh, strange chords let's see if I can play this Okay, so I, this is my suggestion, <coughs> and I, I recorded with the guitar and I uploaded it. Uh, why it doesn't work? Well, it should have. It always happens that it, it doesn't work in, in the demo. So I can now make a suggestion uh, here, for example. I can change these notes. I will just okay. I will select these notes. Then I I I will suggest, for example. Just this, for example, and I will save the suggestion. So now I, he can see the original and my suggestion, and he can play it. These are the types of changes we can we can do. We can also uh, well, like I said here, this is another proposition of a, another chord. So basically, this these are the suggestions of modifications are the the score uh, feedback. There are also the comment feedback and the audio feedback, as we saw we saw here. So that's all. That's all. Uh, yeah.